Hey everybody and welcome to the Double Barrel Podcast. This is a Single Barrel Blast. My name is Justin and we're going to talk about my f- top five favorite vodkas. Chris has talked about his top five favorite bourbons. Now it's my turn. Now, as we know, Chris has talked about this numerous times throughout the podcast and throughout his TikToks. My definition of a perfect vodka is it is odorless, it is tasteless. It does have burn because vodka actually translates directly into burning water. Now, my absolute favorite is the Beluga Vodka. This one's from Montenegro. It's a former USSR state. It is one that comes from the area that you would expect a good vodka, Soviet Russia. This one, the Purity Vodka, is my second favorite, and it's very close to the Beluga. Love this thing. This one is a Swedish vodka. Then we have the Reka. Now, this one is actually imported in New York and distilled in New York, and it is a great one. It's an Icelandic vodka imported in, into New York. Great one. Then we go to either Grey Goose or Silver Dollar. These two can swap places all day long. My fourth and fifth, it's a really a three-way tie. The, the other one that is three-way tie is not out here. But these two fight each other depending on my mood every day. We're going to talk about these a little bit. This one is a $35 vodka. It is beautifully priced at $35, worth every penny. This one's a $30 vodka. Again, beautifully priced, worth the $30 you spend on it. This one, this one's a uh, $20 vodka, and it is absolutely worth the $20. But personally, if I have the extra $10, I'm going to jump to one of these two. Grey Goose and Silver Dollar. Both of these are around $25. Now, one is a grain vodka, one is a corn mash vodka. And again, depending on my mood, these two will trade places all day, every day. They're still worth the $25 you pay for them. But as far as their position in the line, it doesn't matter to me. These two, zero taste, zero aroma. Perfect vodkas in my opinion. These three, I'll have some flavor and some aroma to them. So these three kind of, hmm, not perfect, but they are wonderful vodkas. And I would say they are still worth the price that you pay for them. Now, the Beluga, this one is actually their transatlantic racing vodka. This one is uh, a special run for their transatlantic, transatlantic yacht racing team. And this one, oh my word, is it beautifully done. I will drink this all day, every day, without complaint, and it fits the perfect vodka, in my opinion. And I will happily have this. Now, at a very close, very, very close second comes the purity. Now, purity, I think, has a better bottle design than Beluga. However, this is a 51 times distilled vodka. It is beautifully done. There is almost no most no smell to it. If you do smell anything, you are smelling the slightest bit of grain alcohol on it. And the taste, there is none. It has a burn to it, but that's about it. And this one, mm, so good. Especially in mixed drinks, these two will be beautiful in absolutely anything you put them in. The Reikia comes in at not as close as these two. I'll be honest. There is a little bit of a gap between these two and these three. It's probably about that wide. Each one of these, there is a smell. There is a flavor. But it's mild. It's to the point that you can drink them just neatly as well as almost as well as you can drink these two. But if you've seen our episodes on the reviews of these two, you'll see Chris drink these two and stand there and go, wow, this is actually, I'm not sure what I'm drinking. It's good. These three, he had a reaction to them. But less to the Grey Goose. But he did react to all three of them. 
However, they're still great vodkas. I would absolutely love to have any one of these five in a mixed drink. This one is an American vodka. These three or four are not. Iceland, Poland, the origination of, oh, sorry, France, not Poland. I mixed that up. My apologies. To the French nation, please don't come kill me. To the Polish nation, I'm sorry I have insulted you. The Poles created vodka, and then the Russians kind of took it to the level we know it is today. Um, but, you know, France, you think wine. But the French actually did really good with Grey Goose. But this is the one and only American-made vodka that I think is in my top five. This one, again, it is a copper pot distilled corn mash vodka. And the distillery that makes it, the Nevada HC Distilling Company, they make a bourbon called Smoke Wagon that we're really not fond of. But their vodka is top shelf in my opinion. So as you're looking at these vodkas, you go to the store, you're going to see all of these. If you want the best vodka I think there is, if you see a Beluga, buy it. Purity, buy it. But if you're looking to save a little bit of money, one of these three, all 20 bucks or $25 or less, this one again coming in at $19, is absolutely worth your time. It, to me, better than these two that are a little more expensive than it. So yeah, please do. If you see the Reykjavik and you're looking to save money, excellent choice. If you're looking, f if your money's not an object and you're looking for the best vodka money can buy, honestly, I don't think you get better than Beluga, especially their Transatlantic Racing Special Edition. And if you don't see the Beluga, but you do see a Purity, these two have almost nothing between them. Almost nothing at all. And so, by the purity, you will always have a great time with the purity. I love these two. These ones are more having a party and going to share with people. These are more private reserve, special gift to special someone, special thank you. So, these are my top five favorite vodkas. If you have a different one, let us know. Let me try it. Maybe you have one that's better than one of these three. It's going to be hard to beat out these two. Just, just know. It's going to be hard to beat out these two. However, I'm happy to try anything that you have that you want me to try. Let me know what your favorite vodka is if you have one. If you don't have a favorite vodka, but there's a different clear liquor that you like, let me know. Again, happy to try it and compare it to what I know. Anyway, folks, it's been lovely to see you. Have a wonderful night. And again, here's my top five favorite vodkas.